What does putting up eight shows a week teach you that years of TV and film couldn't have? You know what I mean? Like that, that idea that, that you have to go out there every night and do this. You act on TV and film. You become an actor on stage. Tell me the difference. You know, there is nothing to hide behind when you are in front of an audience of 1,200 people and they've all paid exorbitant amounts of money to watch you perform. You don't get a retake. <laughs> you don't get a chance to be like, can we go again? Yeah. You don't get a chance to go back to your cush trailer and run through it and relax. You are on for two and a half hours, and if anything goes wrong, something goes wrong. You gotta deal with it. What was the worst thing that ever went oh, wrong? Oh, God. There was a day where I was, <laughs> there's a song called You're Making Things Up Again, Arnold, that begins act two. It's right before, I just told a lie. Oh no, I just exaggerated. And it's this like moment that is launching into the song. There was somebody in the audience who was pissing me off so much. Somebody from Entourage, I'm not gonna name names. I was really distracted and that's on me. Like I, I should have known better, but I, I kept thinking in my head, I wanna call him out, I wanna call him out. I wanna, I wanna make a comment, I wanna make a comment. And I'm having that internal conversation and suddenly I hear the cue to the song and it was like an out of body experience and I go, and I don't say anything. I didn't forget my cue. I forgot the English language. I really? didn't. You froze. Not only froze, I like got like tinnitus where like all I heard was and I see the, the guy in the pit, the guy running the orchestra conducting, look at me and he says the line. He, get, he feeds me the cue because the audience and I have been staring silently at each other for at least a minute at this point. Oh God. Then the stage manager shouts the cue. I hear neither of them. Really? I then look at my co-star, Asmarat Gabriel McKell, and I say, on stage, in front of these people, this is a person who's trained in improv, who understands the art of bullshit. And I look at her and the only words that come out of my mouth are, what the f am I supposed to say in front of an audience of 1,200 really? people who could not be more confused right now? Here's the kicker. Her character, who's an African, absolutely is the worst person to tell me my next line because she's not supposed to know because the lesson I'm about to teach her is in that line. And so I force her to awkwardly tell me a line I have been told now three times and couldn't hear. That's not only the worst night that I had during Book of Mormon, that is the worst night of my life. It was horrible. Oh my God, how did, how did you get out of it? Like, did it go back into gear when you heard the line? I, it went back into gear, but it, I never recovered. And so from that point on, I had stage management tape the page into the Book of Mormon, because in the scene I have the actual book, and I always <laughs> had it there from then on out because I was so terrified. Because it was like a glitch in your brain It was a glitch something. in my brain. The second you go up, that you psych yourself out. Right, and for people who are watching who don't understand, going up is forgetting your lines on stage. Correct. And I would think it would rock your entire foundation of how you think you know your brain works and what you can trust about oh, yourself. Man. The same thing happened to me on uh, Spelling Bee. I think that there comes a point, like seven months in, where your mind starts to really wander because you're doing the same thing every day, day in and out. And you just start to psych yourself out. Right. The spelling bee was terrible because I forgot how to spell the word that won the entire <laughs> tournament. <laughs> really? Yes, it was a nightmare. That, that'll kind of mess up the plot of the play a little bit, right? Yeah, I think, yeah, <laughs> that was a disaster. Hey folks, thanks for watching. 
If you like what you just saw, then why not subscribe? Click right here for lots more off camera. And if you want to see the hour long version of these conversations, I'm going to give you the secret link. Here it is, offcamera.com. Check it out.